Hello everyone and welcome to the best crypto channel ever. We are going to try our best to give you the most important news and novelty regarding crypto. Please follow us, we will be uploading daily. Subscribe to our channel and do not miss out. There is huge news about XRP and its lawsuit against SEC. A lot of people were talking that the lawsuit will bring down XRP, but it happened the quite opposite. This lawsuit is going to make XRP even bigger because the company Ripple is winning it. If you want to hear more about this and why XRP is going to replace the SWIFT system stay with us till the end of this video. If you're a crypto enthusiast and you are following the news about crypto markets, we are sure that you have heard about XRP and its partnerships. This is one of the main topics these days, because it is very unusual for a company that is having lawsuit against SEC to make this kind of partnerships and to gain new possibilities. This is going on because most of the companies that are partnering XRP believe in the Ripple system, they believe that XRP and Ripple will become big in near future. Today we're going to talk about, not just the lawsuit against Ripple and what is going on there, but we're going to talk about how this coin might replace the SWIFT system. The Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication or so-called SWIFT provides a network that enables financial institutions worldwide to send and receive information about financial transactions in a secure, standardized, and reliable environment. SWIFT also sells software and services to financial institutions, much of it for use on the SWIFT Net Network. And now let's talk about the most important thing if you are an investor, the price of XRP. We are going to look into the analysis from the biggest crypto enthusiasts around the world and the financial experts. We are going to inform you about their opinion on XRP, and their prediction about the price. The most important thing, the win against SEC. The SEC vs Ripple case on Friday had a hearing on the sex motion to pierce the attorney, client privilege of Ripple and its lawyers. The regulator wants Ripple Labs to turn over documents related to legal advice it received in 2012 prior to the sale of its token, XRP, whether the firm was legally required to be registered with the SEC. While Ripple Labs fights off that request arguing for attorney-client privilege, the SEC claims that legal advice could be proof that the firm, reasonably understood, the nature of XRP. If not, this is not a subject to federal securities law then the company don't have any privilege over those communications. SEC attorney Jorge G. Tenrero said Ripple's lawyers knew what the law is and that it could be what they call a security. Their lawyers knew from the very beginning, and to now come and say to the court, nobody knew, and leave us unable to rebut that by showing all of the advice that they got, not just what they selectively disclosed to third parties is fundamentally unfair and fundamentally against the fairness principle as recognized in this circuit, said the attorney. This might be a big win for Ripple XRP. This decision supports the blockchain firm's fair notice defense based on the argument that the securities regulator failed to warn the company and that XRP was an unregistered security. According to Jeremy Hogan, an attorney closely following the case, the decision made by the judge was so important because the judge states Ripple's subjective beliefs regarding XRP are not relevant to the fair notice defense. This move would block the road the SEC wanted to use to fight the defense. The judge clarified that her conclusion only applies to this specific issue, stating, the court takes no position about whether Ripple's pleaded defense is cognizable or if it will prove meritorious. The attorney and community leader for XRP holders to intervene in the legal action, believed from that the SEC had little chance of getting Ripple's legal advice memo unless the crypto payments company shared it with others. The attorney also stated that while judge's decision was a public loss for the securities regulator, the outcome alone was not enough to force the SEC to settle this case. Ripple might replace SWIFT after the lawsuit. Most of the reports from the relevant financial institutions are saying that the blockchain technology can replace almost everything in the financial system. This includes the cross-border transactions faster and cheaper way to trade, an easier way for banking. According to the reports, cryptocurrencies are able to solve some problems in the banking system and could easily replace some of the services of the banks. 
Most of the experts are saying that the DLT technology that has Ripple can improve banking in several aspects. Those PL. DS are security, speed, transparency, traceability, cost and risk management. The reports are saying that with XRP's technology the banks can replace the very expensive and complicated system that is provided by SWIFT. This can be easily replaced with XRP pool. That way the banks can cut off their expenses increase their liquidity and still manage to do the transactions that are needed on the international level in the terms of volume and scale. There are a lot of research that has been done already in this field. Some of the banks were asked to answer a survey about the SWIFT system in comparison to the Ripple XRP system. Most of the banks answered that today's SWIFT system is too complicated and expensive for the end user. These transactions made with SWIFT system involves a lot of parties a lot of international banks and all of that costs money. At the end this money is going to be paid by the customer. And those expenses are making the banks less attractive for their customers. Especially in the world where there are cheaper substitutes. One of these banks even stated that the SWIFT system is not good for the companies especially. These words gives possibility for XRP to become a new SWIFT for banks and for a companies. Recently we have seen some debates about the SWIFT system, especially between Russia and the European Union. Moscow was saying that this SWIFT system is too complicated and some changes needs to be done. After this, the European Union's authorities replayed that there are going to be sanctions if this is done. Andrei Krutskik, Russian Special Presidential Envoy for International Cybersecurity Cooperation, voiced Moscow's readiness to respond if Russia is disconnected from the SWIFT global payment network. However, according to him, threats to disconnect Russia from the SWIFT system are unlikely to be realized. On Sunday, the head of the Russian Foreign Ministry's Department of Economic Cooperation, Dmitry Birichevsky, told Sputnik that threats were coming from the United States with regard to the SWIFT system. Though there are currently no signs of plans to disconnect Russia from the system, the country is preparing for such a scenario and has started developing an alternative payment system, Birichevsky confirmed to Sputnik. What is going to happen with XRP price after the lawsuit? If settling with the SEC happened this is going to be amazing for the price of XRP token. Most of the information are going on the line that there is going to be settlement very soon. This is really good news for the ones that are possessing XRP token. There are some executives of XRP that are saying that there are possibilities for the company to settle with the regulator. According to the opinion of the attorney Jeremy Hogan there are a couple of scenarios. The one is to include Ripple paying a penalty specifically limited to dates pre-lawsuit, or maybe not include disgorgement of profits to purchasers because of the impossibility of figuring out how to disburse the funds. The other one is to contain a term that includes limitations on the sales of XRP released from escrow. Or to satisfy Ripple's concerns. Namely, maintaining its business and ODL. After that he also mentioned to give the exchanges the confidence to relist XRP. Or possibly limit sales to private sales to companies and clients, which would bottleneck the flow of XRP into the market for years. In his opinion it is possible to put XRP in the clear as far as securities violations. Ripple would be the first crypto company to be 100% in the clear. If a settlement becomes reality this is going to mean that XRP is going to become the first cryptocurrency that is approved by a financial regulator. This means that XRP is going to make a history with a settlement from Security Exchange Commission. And what this means for the price. It means that it's going to skyrocket from that point. That is why we believe that XRP has a future, especially after resolving the problems with the lawsuit. The lawsuit is a very important thing around XRP, and about its future. Right now this coin is trading for around $0.9, and its market cap is there out $40 billion, the 24-hour volume is on $2.4 billion. We are not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You should not buy, sell, trade, or invest in any asset based on what we say in these videos. You should know that investing carries extreme risks. You could lose your entire investment.
This is not trading advice, and we are in no way liable for any losses incurred. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. We wish you a good luck.